So we're, we're thrilled to be at Hunting Island to welcome the cast and crew of Outer Banks, a Netflix series that our office recruited to the state. And they found that Hunting Island matched so many and offered them so many different beach looks that that's the reason they're coming to spend a whole week here in Beaufort County to, to make part of the, the series. Hey guys, welcome to OBX. The parks department has been excellent to work with. The, uh, the local uh, hotel that we're staying in last night, very welcoming. Everybody uh, has been um, very open and welcoming. And I think they got a great layout over here. Logistically, this is a great place to shoot. There's areas for trucks and there's areas for the base camp area, a place to park cars, a place to still shoot, and it's still all on the same property. So that's a, that's a pretty valuable thing. So most, most major feature films and TV series like this generally have 80 to 100 crew and cast members. They have, oh my gosh, they have so many trucks just to bring in all their gear. We've got a base camp with a tent, a big tent where they're going to eat. They're, they're uh, spending um, their, their nights here. Yeah, so they have a, a really large uh, staff, really large crew that's here. Um, but we've uh, done a great job of trying to notify the public. We have it on our website. We've contacted every camper that's in the campground. The campground's full, and we've contacted every camper to let them know that Lighthouse will be closed down for three days. But really, other than the campground and one small parking area, the park is completely open to the public. Um, we're kind of holding people from walking uh, during shots. But, you know, we've had, I've already talked to several people that have been out hiking the trails and been out on the beach. We had a sea turtle nest this morning, and so, um, you know, the park is functioning as, as normal with a gigantic film crew here. So Hunting Island has over 300 sea turtle volunteers. We call them the Turtle Patrol. And as of today, we're at 523 nests across South Carolina. Hunting Island State Park has 14 nests so far. Um, and so that's something that we take very seriously. So in the mornings, we have our Turtle Patrol going on through, while we're filming. And also they're gonna do some night filming close to the beach. And so we are uh, want to be very aware of, of lights on the beach, especially during turtle season. And so what we're doing is uh, whenever they're gonna be close to the beach at nighttime filming, we've got two park rangers stationed with them the whole time. So we'll have a ranger with the crew. We'll also have a ranger on the beach. Um, and that way, if a mother decides to come onto the beach at nighttime, we stop all the filming and the film crew, that's actually what they want to do. You know, they, they wanna help protect the park as much as possible. So the, the story that, from what I've been told, the story is about uh, some teenagers that have gone into a state park that's been closed. After a hurricane, they're gonna sneak into the lighthouse that's closed. Um, so they've put a lot of uh, debris all over the roads and in and, and the lighthouse complex to give it the, um, I guess to give it the look of a recent storm with a lot of green debris down on the ground. Um, it's pretty fitting that they're coming to Hunting Island to shoot some uh, storm debris footage because they're, you know, the past three years from 2016 with Matthew, 2017 with Irma, we've had our fair share. Um, and so, well, we've been cleaning up for 20 months. They've been putting down in about 20 minutes, so. Buford. As you, you know, I'm sure many many people in Buford realize it's it's had a history, a wonderful history, of of welcoming film, and that's really what it takes to, for our for our mission when we're recruiting to the state. There's there's a component that uh, the incentives play a part, but then the community and the crew play a huge part because unless you're welcoming, you know, again, this is this is I call it the circus because they have to create everything pretty much from scratch. They're they're bringing everything together in a very concentrated time frame and trying to make their, their world, create their world. And the community to be able to say, yeah, we understand this is gonna be a little different, a little inconvenient maybe, kind of outside of our, our wheelhouse, what we're used to, but we wanna, we wanna make it happen. That's, that's what we need to hear from the state's perspective because we can only sell what people want to bring in and, and welcome into the area. Totally see why they push shooting in Beaufort County. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. It looks like something out of a movie. <laughs> <laughs>